Although most videos on this channel are sub 5 minute content, but a lot of time test and analysis goes in making them. One such test is going with the Liqui Moly Ceratec. I have already used this in my car, my friend's car, and then a lot of you wanted me to try this on a two wheeler, primarily on a gearless scooter which runs on dry clutch system. So this video is basically just a compiled observation done with Ceratec on gearless scooters like the Honda Activa and Hero Destiny 125. We have tried to increase the spectrum of this test by using Ceratec with both regular scooter engine oil as well as with premium oils like the Motul 710010W40 and the Adenol Racing 40. Two things that I would like to address first, one is the word of caution that this is not a recommendation video as Ceratec is primarily meant to use in cars and second, this is just an experiment which was done out of curiosity to check the difference in day-to-day -day use. As per Liquimoly, Ceratec claims to reduce the friction by filling in the surface roughness and forming a layer on the engine internals that should help in improving the performance by overcoming the friction resistance. The Ceratec is a micro ceramic based lubricant where I have previously shared something similar with the MOS2 but the Ceratec is said to be a premium product where I have paid the premium as this is not a paid promotion. Now coming to the experience, let's begin with the morning start. I was expecting the Ceratec to do something magical but it remained same. Both the JSO MA2 and the MB oil performed as usual with no additional benefits other than what this premium engine oils offer. But once we did a kilometer or two, we instantly noticed the difference especially with the way the engine accelerated so smoothly in the 30 to 60 km per hour zone, which I feel is the power band for the Activa as well as for the Destiny. Now before doing this, I also did a mixing and solubility test on the Ceratec with the MA2 and MB2 wheeler engine oils to check for any separation or precipitation. And things were absolutely fine with no visible separation even after hours of no disturbance to the oil and Ceratec mixture. As per Liquimoly, the ideal dose of Ceratec for car engines is around 60 ml per litre of engine oil which makes it around 6% of Ceratec. In case of this gearless scooters, we used in between 50 to 55 ml of Ceratec with the engine oil. In the Activa, we were expecting some boost in fuel efficiency but in reality the smoothness made us push the machine hard and everyone was enjoying it with a handful of throttle which in turn dropped the fuel efficiency to 40 km per litre. But in case of the Destiny, things improved or should I say remained in the expected 50 plus kilometers per litre which is good for a 125cc gearless scooter. We kept a check on the oil level at every 500 to 1000 kilometers with no alarming sign and finally the oil was replaced after doing 3000 kilometers on the Activa with a similar oil minus the Ceratec. This product is said to have a long lasting effect but in our case we didn't observe any lasting effect after the oil change on the Activa. Overall, this was an interesting experiment and I guess this sums up pretty much everything from our observation notes. So that's it for this video and I hope you guys have liked it.